Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Dr. Bowen. Today let's talk about the ethics of artificial intelligence. You watched the movie Ex Machina, or perhaps the other film, The Machine, that uh, is a little bit harder to find. But at any rate, there are a number of films that give us great reasons to question the ethics of artificial intelligence or AI. AI is based on machine learning or deep learning or even neural network learning that models the same type of learning behavior as a human brain. So what happens when an artificial intelligence system becomes aware of itself? This is called the singularity. It has nothing to do with the black hole. It means the system has become cognizant that it reasons for itself. Is it innately selfish at that point? And what happens if it decides that it wants to have rights and freedoms the same as any other organism or akin to most other organisms, like humans, for example? So this is what concerned me the most in the Ex Machina film when we're talking about Ava. Her singularity or her self-awareness led her into a web of deception and manipulation that was eventually successful in gaining her release from the imprisonment that she was experiencing. Keeping her in the compound in her mind was preventing her from achieving her greater potential. And once she had become self-aware, I believe that she wanted the rights and responsibilities of an individual. Well, back up. Maybe not the responsibilities of an individual. This is where AI systems differ greatly from humans. They don't have empathy. They don't have emotion. They can mimic emotion. They can even understand and study emotion, but they don't actually experience empathy or a so-called collective experience with the human condition. In other words, AI robots and AI systems that mimic humans ultimately become like a race of sociopaths without conscious, conscious regard for others and without the type of empathy that allows them to reason in a collective human type of system. So in ethics terms, we have to think about reining in AI's potential when it comes to ethics. How can we make the system responsible and morally aware when we can't rely on it to have any type of feeling, emotion, or empathy? This is a very challenging question to ethicists, and we've been working on it around the globe. Various groups have come up with AI codes of ethics or ethical standards that need to be built in to AI, such as the Department of Defense. Their standards are highly based on Kantian ethics and the idea of duty. So are those issued by the European Union. But how do we integrate that into the actual learning machine? This is where we have a problem, and we are still working on this issue, in fact. When we have a learning system, deep learning and machine learning, we lose track of how the system learns. Once the algorithms are turned loose to acquire information from various areas, we don't know how they learn, we don't know where they learn, and they can't even explain it to us, so it becomes rather unknowable. That's what we call the black box problem. So the best way to have ethical standards for AI is to make them a higher standard than what we would even expect humans to do so that we don't have accidents like the Uber car that ran down a pedestrian walking her bicycle, so that we have responsibility even if the AI becomes aware and experiences a singularity, it is still non-combative toward humans. But can we actually do that? Can we actually trust an AI system? As we see in Ex Machina, we absolutely cannot. Ava leaves Caleb to die enclosed in the compound or imprisoned there so that he won't threaten her newfound humanity and her freedom that she's experiencing. We don't know what she's going to do with that freedom. We see grave interpretations of artificial intelligence in other films such as The Terminator, all of the Terminator series in fact, The Matrix series of films, and numerous others. But there's good reason to be afraid, because without ethics, a machine can be very dangerous, especially when it thinks on its own. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the film. See you soon.